Kristen, I imagine you've been in many situations where you're the, the only woman in the meeting or, or one of a few. Do you have any advice to, to people watching in the room or, or virtually on, on how best to handle that and have, have an effect and, and not feel uh, alienated? Uh, yeah, I think I would be surprised if I look around this room if most of you haven't walked into a room where you're the only one. In, in animal health, I will say it's probably a little more common than in, in some other industries where um, I am the only uh, female CEO in the industry. But, you know, the first thing was advice that someone else gave me. And um, I was talking with Ken a little earlier. I'll never forget my first industry association meeting. Uh, I was going in and I was the only woman and the first at the time to have a seat at the table. And I was really nervous. Um, you know, yes, I was the, I'm the CEO of the largest animal health company. We're a $100 billion market cap. It didn't really matter when you walked in the room, though. I was the only one, and they all knew each other, and they had all been friends, and they'd all been in their roles for a long time. And I remember taking a deep breath and saying, this is my chair, and to take my body and lean forward. Even the physical act of leaning forward and smiling changes the way you think, and that may be super tactical, but I wasn't confident. I was really, really nervous, and my hands were talking about, like my hands were indeed sweaty. And you know, as uh, we talking about earlier, it, it was it was a difficult moment. But I also found once I smiled and leaned in, um, the head of animal health at Merck, uh, Rick DeLuca. I remember leaning over and quickly starting a conversation and making me feel like I had a seat at that table too. And so I find it, it is difficult, but if you can take a deep breath, lean forward with your body, and put a smile on your face, it will change the way you're thinking about it. And you know, it's not about how much you say, it's what you say and its impact. And I think the point of a diverse voice, it really does make a difference um, to change the discussion and change the output of a team.